Hello everyone, Caleb should be here any minute, the other guy that is usually this way, but I don't know why he's flying again, he should be here by now, but Hello? wait, can you hear me? Can you hear me? yeah I can hear, Hello. Oh, yes. yeah the signal's coming in now, yeah I'm sorry I couldn't be there in person, but as you can see I'm a little spaced out right now, well, I decided to do some really deep research into this next game, and I'm on Mars, trying to find out if it's really accurate and exactly like we see in Surviving Mars. Actually, it's really great here and lovely. I don't know what the big deal is about. It's quite easy to survive here. Everything is red, but besides that, it's really pleasant. Okay, okay, you really did went out of your way this time just to make it this video. Okay, I give you that. But well, let's talk about the game. Though the game is really about surviving on Mars. First, you, you're gonna land with the droids. And using the droids, you're gonna build all the facilities needed before you actually get any people on the Mars. So it's really kind of realistic, like what could be living on Mars. There's no sci-fi things. It's really, everything is really believable, let's say. Obviously because of being on Mars, one of those elements is the survival elements of everything is much more drastic and much more important. If something breaks down, and your colonists don't have water or, God forbid, oxygen, it's all going to be over very, very quickly. So you have to stay on top of things, and there's a bit more of a sense of danger, I found. I think there's a lot of things to do in this game, actually. Well, first of all, I need to say that just doing the tutorial, it's going to take you one hour. So this information will probably give you a good idea about how difficult it is to learn this game. The mechanics, there's like really so many structures to build, so many things, like at once. So you, you really need to pay attention to the tutorial or you're gonna end up like me, basically starting a new game and then failing and failing and each time you're gonna learn why you fail and start again. Now there's, I found that there's lots of replayability, there's lots of different storylines you can follow, you can start with different types of people, different equipment, different challenges, levels of difficulty. That being said, I think you really have to like the core game because I don't have the impression that those different varieties actually change the core mechanics. If you like the mechanics, that all of those other elements gives it a lot of replayability. But I don't think any of those other variables are going to change your first opinion if you don't like it in the first few hours and if city simulators and builders are not your type of thing. So I don't really think this game is for everyone. This game is really to the core. It's a strategy building strategy. There's no fighting. The only fighting is for survival. So you're gonna only fight with the weather on the Mars. But other than that, that's not like real action. So this is all about building. And for the building, you have really so many possibilities. Once you get the people from Earth to the Mars, you got another whole area to explore because you, you can actually choose the people you're gonna get to Mars. And then you need to take care of them. You need to build, stru build structures for them. And really, it's not about just giving them enough air, enough food, and enough water, you need to really take care of them. And I have to say that some things seemed a bit strange to me. I mean, as suggested in, th in the tutorial, I found myself making like a space bar and space casino around the same time as building farms, which didn't really seem in line with the more scientific uh, presentation of the game. I felt like the priorities for the for the colonists didn't really make sense a lot of times. There should be more focus on basic survival and building up the colony before having those kind of more luxurious and, and uh, city-like uh, services available. 
Also, what I did find out that you can actually zoom out on the Mars planet as itself, and you're gonna see other and the companies trying to do the same thing and you can actually get resources from them or even steal from them for example so that's why the interaction it almost feels like it's online even though it's not but that's a nice feature there's really a lot of details but a lot of things that makes this strategy great also the possibility of terraforming the entire planet I found really intriguing. That's something you don't see in traditional city builders or simulators on Earth. Yeah, but the terraforming is actually the DLC and that's a really good idea. Yeah, you can actually make the whole planet green again. I felt like, yeah, the pace was sometimes a, a bit slow. I needed to speed things up to actually get to the next point where I could do something. Another thing that I think is a kind of missed potential is the feeling of exploration. I mean, you're on Mars, there could be lots of things to discover. And I did want to see the rest of the map, but the way it's presented, I also didn't have the feeling that if I managed to get to that part of the map or across, uh, across the mountains in front of me that I would discover something really stunning or game-changing or... I do agree on that. The graphic is good for me, actually. And the music, the music is really nice. And I even find out there's a, even radios, like five or six radios that you can switch and really get some nice background music for the game, yeah. And I think uh, you definitely should play this game if you've ever enjoyed anything similar, anything in The Sims, uh, city simulators, any of the tycoon games, zoo, zoo tycoon, uh, roller coaster tycoon, any of those kind of builder simulators. If you've enjoyed any of those, there's a very good chance that you'll enjoy Mars. It brings a few new things to the genre, but it definitely doesn't reinvent the genre. And if you're not the type of gamer who goes in for, for, um, for simulation games, uh, for city building games, then I don't think that this one is the one to change your mind. Well, if you've never tried and this strategy or this theme doesn't interest you, it's probably not good for you because it's really hard to get into it at first. And after you get all the mechanics, there's really nothing beyond the building the strategy elements so if you don't like strategies this is no this is no for you but it's free uh it's a high quality game get it while you can uh maybe someday you'll decide to try out the the genre and this would be a good place to start i think and then let us know what you think i really wonder what is going to be the next free game from the epic if you want to know too, you should subscribe so we let you know in the next video. Thanks. Bye for everyone. Watching.